What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Shark bite fittings are becoming more and more popular amongst weekend warriors as they're quick, reliable and easy to install. But there's a few things I want to put out there really quickly for those that are new to these and that want to tackle some plumbing tasks at home. One of the most common mistake is not marking the insertion depth on the pipe. The insertion depth mark gives you a visual confirmation on if the fitting was inserted all the way in. So for example, you insert the fitting thinking it's in all the way, turn the water back on and it leaks. It means the pipe wasn't fully inserted. So that little 10 seconds needs to be taken to mark the pipe. No exceptions here. This could be done using SharkBite's depth gauge tool or the chart on the website. Link in description box below to this chart. The second mistake is not deburring the pipe. This only applies if you're installing these on copper. Whether the pipe was cut with a hacksaw, displacement cutter or an ice pick, the pipe absolutely needs to be deburred. Not deburring the pipe end will most likely tear the o-ring as it's being inserted which will cause the fitting to leak. So always deburr it using a reamer like this or just use a flat file if that's all you got. Another problem that causes a leak sometime is if the pipe is under tension. Let me explain. Sometimes you'll go to connect a pipe and it's not exactly in line with your new line. This will cause the pipe to not seal on the side with no tension and leak. So always make sure the pipe is in line. I've seen people kick these for them to go in when not in line. So just imagine the stress on the o-ring when doing this. If you got kicked in the cojones, you'd probably leak too. Number 4 is installing these on a dirty pipe. I talked about this in one of my other shark bite videos, but I'll say it again. You absolutely need to make sure the tip of the pipe is clean before inserting it into the fitting. If let's say there's wood chips, dust, dirt or stickers for example, you're asking for trouble. Make sure you clean it off first and also make sure the fitting is free of debris. And if it is, just rinse it under water as per SharkBite's instructions. The fifth one is installing these on soft copper. One thing these fittings heavily rely on is a good sound pipe. If the pipe isn't round, the seal won't be able to do its job. Soft copper was used in older homes sometimes and it's important to be able to identify it. It's actually pretty easy. Here we could see hard copper on the left and soft copper on the right. The soft copper could easily be bent or shaped, which makes it very vulnerable to not being round. So never install these on soft copper. And the last mistake is reusing these too many times. The thing with these fittings is that you could reuse them as they're removable. But the problem is that the o-ring sees a lot more abuse because of the ins and outs that it sees by doing this. These o-rings come pre-lubricated from the factory and stay lubricated the first 5 or 6 times that they're used, but after a while, it wears off and makes it more vulnerable to tearing. So a good way to prevent this is to get some silicone based lubricant and lubricate it so that it makes it easier to go in. I've seen a lot of people use Vaseline, but since it's petroleum based, it's not good for the rubber. So only use a silicone based lubricant for this application. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it. And until the next one, thanks for watching.